Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to another video tutorial. I'm just going to demonstrate how to install Zenmate APK or Zenmate app onto a Fire device because it can't be downloaded direct from Amazon. You're going to need Downloader installed. So open Downloader and in the URL bar you need to type tinyurl.com forward slash Zenmate APK. Now just while I'm doing that, I just want to just uh, say that you need unknown sources um, to be ticked for this guys in developer options uh, if you've not actually done that there's loads of videos sorry I must apologize if you don't know how to do that but I, I assume that everybody would know how to do that by now so I'm just going to finish typing this URL now I've actually downloaded this from the Play Store as of the 21st of December 21 as of today it's the latest up to date app up-to-date app now you can't actually download this direct from the Amazon Play Store although it works fine in the fire stick so make sure you put capitals in as illustrated below I'm just about to finish you off okay PK and click go as I said it's going direct to my web store the uh, web page should I say now, depending on how fast your download speed is, that's going to uh, grab that. Mine's not particularly fast. And just click install. Move across to install. And then once that's installed, we're just going to delete the actual um, install file, if you like. Okay, click done. We're going to click the three lines on the remote in a second. Move across to delete, delete. And then we're going to click the three lines on the remote and that's going to open the app we're going to go into settings in the top right hand corner and we're just going to just make sure during the setup obviously you need to sign into this with your account details um, if you haven't got an account please visit the website um, for demonstrations i'm not using domain fronting if you don't know what it is i would recommend googling it the only reason i've come into it is just basically if you want the fastest vpn speed you can get I recommend using WireGuard. OpenVN's VPN is most probably more secure, but unless you're an FBI agent, there's no need. Now you can just select, select the tab for auto connect and that'll just connect to your nearest server. Obviously that's saying we're in Canada. Now you can click on the favorites button there. That'll add it into the favorites, which I'll demonstrate in a moment where that puts it. Or you can actually just come out of there. It's the first time I've obviously used it on here. And then come down to the auto select, click on there. And obviously that's going to list all the countries you can be in. If you want to select, obviously, geolocation, you want to move to whatever, you can just click on any of these tabs and it'll automatically take you there. Very simple, straightforward. Or alternatively, if you want to set your favorites, as you can see across the top, if you select one of them, you would just literally go into your favorites bar across the top. So if you find a particular server that everything works on or what you find in most things work on. Now, if you go to the stream and you can see it's been optimized for BBC iPlayer, Disney Plus for each individual country and Prime and things. BBC iPlayer, Netflix in this case, so we're connecting to the UK. So that's optimized to use Netflix in the UK. Now with Netflix, you can use account in, in any country basically. So if, you use, if you're using Netflix, I'd most probably advise you use America because it's got the largest library. So come back out there and then back into there and as you can see like I say there's, there's plenty of servers that have been optimized for different services that you may subscribe to Netflix USA there look UK and then obviously you've got UK Prime as well so you can, if you've got Amazon Prime and you want to play it through the VPN so as you can see there's, there's plenty in there now I'm not going to waffle on guys it was all, it was just a quick demonstration for a customer that wanted to know how to install it because he was unable to install it direct from the Amazon Play Store. So I'm going to leave it there and just hope that's helped. Please give us a thumbs up and I'll say goodbye for now.